Hi there. So today I'm going to walk you through using Screencastify, which is a Google Chrome extension, and Google Slides together to record presentations. Um, you can do this all in your web browser, and it starts by heading over to the Chrome Web Store. So you can see I've already searched here in the Chrome Web Store for an extension called Screencastify, and this is the one we want, um, Screen Video Recorder. So to install it, we're going to just click Add to Chrome. Now, um, this is a free extension with some paid features, but nothing I'm going to show you today requires the paid features. So you get a confirmation, you click Add Extension, and it's going to go ahead and download and then install into your browser. You'll get a, a notification here with some directions on how to start it, and usually there's a key command like it says here, and then you can just click on it. Now, um, usually uh, the web store has itself disabled, for recording, so we're going to click over to the slides that we've already made. Um, I am borrowing these from the Google for Education program. I didn't make these slides. So Screencastify, unlike some other Chrome extensions, has a few access things when we first click on it. So you see it's going to ask if it can set up camera access, so we're going to say go ahead and say yes. And it's also going to ask to use the microphone, so we're going to say allow to that. Um, it's then going to ask you the first time, and it only asks you this the first time, is where do you want to save it? Um, I always save to Google Drive. If you are on a Chromebook, you especially need it to save to Google Drive. When you click that, you're going to have to grant it permission, which is going to take you through um, this thing in setting up tab recording. So when we set up tab recording, um, it requests an additional permission, um, and we go ahead. All your data on websites you visit sounds very dr dramatic, but it, it's not really. So we click allow, and then this should have a word. Sometimes it doesn't load correctly, and once you're ready to go, you can get started. Now, as you can see, all of Screencastify's tutorials play automatically. So um, this will show you what I'm going to show you is click on the screen icon. So we're going to go ahead and close that and come back here. So we're going to get back into our icon, and you'll notice that we have a few choices here. We have tab and desktop. Uh, there's webcam too, but um, uh, I haven't turned it on, and it's probably because that one blink that we were seeing. But if we click on this, we can get into some options, and there's a couple of options we need to make sure of that we're saving to Google Drive here. Um, this is usually good to have on, open video after, and automatically play. But you're going to want to turn this off. Pause on low disk space is on by default, and we want to turn it off, especially if we are using Screencastify on a Chromebook, because Chromebooks by default have low... Um, low disk space because they are web-based machines. So once we have all that ready to go, we can come back yet again, and we're ready to go. Now if we click desktop and do desktop recording, we are going to, uh, if, you, if you choose desktop, you're gonna record everything on your desktop. But for um, doing a presentation, we only need to do tab recording. Um, if we have video in the tab, like say I have video here and I want it to record well, then I would turn tab audio on. Otherwise, it's just all going to come through the microphone. It tells you how it's going to record. This is the size of my window. Um, if I want preview, I can turn that on. I'm not going to do that. So um, when we click start recording, we are uh, sharing our screen. You'll notice down here in the corner, our tab, um, our, our tools come up, and these allow us to um, have certain mouse cursor effects. Um, as you can see the focus and the um, and whenever we click now you see that red circle appears that's one of the nice features so when once we have Screencastify ready to go all we have to do and I'm recording in Screencastify now is uh, we click present now this is gonna um, all we have to do now is either use our arrow keys left and right to advance or we can use our mouse and every time we click we get that circle but you have some cool tools here so if I turn on the mouse focus then it will only show around so that can be a good way to lead the eye in the recording that you're doing if I want to turn that off I come back here but you can also draw on the screen on your recording so if I really wanted us to focus on the word SAMR here and say today we're really gonna focus on modification then I can draw on the screen I have a bit of an eraser or this open square here is just uh, to clear the screen so um, when you're not using the screen tool you can just click on or keep going to advance your slides and get to where you are now when you're done you can either click exit here or just use the um, exit button or the escape button and when you're done with your recording in Screencastify you click up here again and click stop and now you see a new tab opens uh, sharing up. Sharing our screen. 
and it plays automatically. We get a little notification here that our recordings are being saved. Right now it's untitled. So one of the first things we want to do is um, give it a title. Uh, check here. You can always retitle it later, so I'm going to click close. So let's go back to uh, Google Drive for a second and notice that in my drive we now have a folder that was created for us automatically called Screencastify, and this is where we're going to have all of our videos. You saw there was a red icon there for a second. Google Drive video has to process, but it doesn't take very long. It depends on the, the length of your uh, video that you made. Here you can preview it. Notice down here in the corner. I see I have the volume turned way up on my speakers. Um, you can click through, but you should always double check uh, your video once you've made it. Um, you can download it onto your computer. Uh, you can look at all your recordings, or if you're ready, you can send this up to YouTube. You're going to have to um, configure your channel ahead of time. So for this one, I'm going to have to tell it this account, and here's my YouTube channel, and I grant that permission, and then it's ready to go. So that one, and we can set the privacy here, public, unlisted, private, private's only you and people you share it with, like a Google Doc, unlisted, not in search results, but anyone with a link, and public is what you know most people see. Um, I'm not gonna upload that now. Uh, once you're ready, you can, done. Now you have a crop and trim feature here, but that's in the paid version, so you're not gonna be able to use that on the free version. In any case, once you've previewed it and you're satisfied with it, if you're not, you can just chuck it in the trash and start over again. Uh, once you're ready to go, you either um, grab the, the Google Drive link or send it up to YouTube, and you're done. It's pretty simple. There's a lot to do when you're getting started and you have to set up all the permissions and such, but um, it's actually pretty easy. To, and that's all just for the first time. It's pretty easy to use um, once you've got it configured and you only have to configure it the first time. Happy screencasting.